Hello and good morning everyone. It is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's to everyone. I wanted to get a video out on the last day of 2020. I want to thank everyone who has been watching my videos and everyone who has subscribed and commented on my videos. I appreciate it greatly. And uh, hopefully 2021, uh, which we'll all be glad 2020 is gone in a way, uh, and 2021 is much better. So we got, I got some really exciting things coming up uh, in 2021. And, um, you know, 2020, just to put a spin on it, there were some good things that had happened, okay, uh, for me anyway. You know, we did the whole van thing. We stayed out of the general public, and we, my wife and I, we worked on our van. I was hoping to get it pretty much finished by the first of the year, but we fell short of that. Pretty much so. So this week, as a matter of fact, um, I have all my plumbing coming in. I've got my sink, my my pump, my uh, all everything I need to have running water in the van. I got either a 15 or a 20 gallon fresh water tank coming in. So we're going to be working on that this week, and I will be posting that. And then after that, I'll be doing the refrigeration and that, and then we'll be pretty much close to finish on it. So we're going to take a lot of trips on that in 2021. Also going to do a lot of backpacking trips. So hopefully I got one coming up here in a few weeks and uh, up in the cold weather, and uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I want to show you uh, a couple things that uh, I got uh, that are, it's going to be some new gear, new stuff for 2021. Uh, one of them actually is what I'm wearing right now. And this is, it's a hoodie. Uh, it's, it's something that I've been wanting for a long time, but the company who makes this are always out of it. Okay. Only because it's so popular that uh, you can't get a hold of it. So. I'll put a link to this company, but the company is, it's Appalachian Gear Company. If you can see that, I'll try to put the link to it. And it's 100% alpaca, and it's stretchy, uh, it's warm. Uh, it's very nice. As a matter of fact, um, I think Darwin, he says it's it's his one piece of uh, clothing that he wears around all the time and he absolutely loves it. I do too. This is a men's large and it fits me perfectly. And it comes in a few different colors. Uh, if you go to their website, you'll see that this hoodie is most of the time is sold out. Um, like I said, it's very popular and once they get them in, they go, bam, they go like that. And I was in contact with them constantly saying, as soon as one comes in, let me know. So she, they told me to go ahead and just um, upload or just join their newsletter or their Instagram account or Facebook account, one of them, but you, you'll see. And uh, that way you'll know when they're in, they'll send you a neat thing. And if you want one, you got to go in and uh, order it right away and it takes a couple weeks to get to you. Um, they're 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 not cheap. I think I paid uh, about one hundred and fifty dollars for this, but I've, I've been wanting one, and uh, I've been wearing it. I wore it on my last trip up there in, in uh, North Georgia, where it got down to sixteen degrees. It's a good mid layer. I had to put something over top of it. Don't get me wrong; this isn't something you could wear all the time and be warm with it. Uh, it's something you would have to wear something over. But in the you know degree, let's say say it was in the forties or something, you could probably just wear this. Uh, so this is really good. It's called the Appalachian Gear Company. It's a it's a company. You gotta don't hold me this, but I think it's in North Carolina. Pretty sure it's in North Carolina. It's a U.S. company, and uh, they're uh, they're really good um, little hoodies. So I recommend them highly. On the uh, other end of that, as far as clothing goes, I've got another thing. Let me show you this. I saw this, and I can never pronounce these things. They're called balaclavas or something like that, or I just call them hoodies. This here is one made by a company called, whatever that name is, uh, Joy a lot of whatever. It's 11, uh, no, yeah, it's $10.99 on Amazon. The thing, when I said, oh, I might as well give it a try and uh, see if it's worthwhile. I am very, very pleased with this. Let me just put it on my old head here and show you show you how this works 
Anyway, there we go. It comes down underneath, could come underneath your coat. Uh, it closes up. There's a little part inside of it here that comes up. And if you tighten this up, I'll tell you, this thing is warm. It's, it's a fleece. I think the material alone is worth 10 bucks. And uh, let me get this right here. But you can close it up all the way. You can pull this up over your nose, your face, and it is warm. And if you're out there, uh, you could sleep in this, you can hike in this, you know, you can pull it down, you can use it for different things, just as a scarf around your neck. Um, it's light, and but it's extremely warm. So check that out. I'll put a link to this down below. And um, for $11, this is well worth it. These things are fantastic. And I was real skeptical. I said, I'll, I'll just give it a try. If it's something I don't like, of course, it's Amazon, so I could send it back immediately. And, uh, you know, get my money back. So, but I'm keeping it. Matter of fact, my wife's got one also. So we felt they were that good enough that we both wanted one. Now, for Christmas, my son, stepson, uh, he came through and he got me a an item that is really going to help with my uh, YouTube videos. I'm not using it right now, but uh, let me show you what it is. It's called a DJI Mobile, and this thing is it's like a little robot. Uh, you put your I got a new iPhone Pro Max 12 coming in. I ordered it in December, and that's how long it's taken for it to get to me. Uh, the AT&T store, uh, it should have it here in a couple weeks, but I want it to go on a trip, and I probably won't have it before then. But I'm, use, I use, I'm not using it right now, but this thing is fantastic. You uh, First you level it, and then <laughs> it, you have to have your phone in it, and you balance it out. But you can use everything on this from taking photos, taking videos, doing uh, slow-mos, do every function you pretty much can do on your phone, you can do it from this. And what the beauty of this is, the stabilization is fantastic. On my last video that I just posted prior to this, I used it a little bit, but I didn't have it hooked up to Bluetooth and all that. I was just using the gimbal on it, and I can see how I don't. it doesn't shake. My videos are actually, absolutely just flawless when it comes to stabilization and it moves around however your phone goes and it's called a G DJI mobile they've been around I think there's the, the one the two the three and the four are out them it, it don't matter uh, I guess and oh yeah and on it I have a little handle little mount right here that I hook either you can put one of those sure microphones in it or a mobo and uh, this works as a great blogging tool. I guess with the phone on it, the microphone on it, everything on it, it's not real, real, real light, but it's not real heavy either. Uh, it has a place on the bottom there you can actually hook it to a tripod. Uh, it's blue, like I said, it's Bluetooth. It has a little, t uh, it's kind of like a joystick here that you move around and the, the phone can go any direction you want. Uh, it has on the side, you can zoom in, zoom out on your phone, and everything, there's no wires or anything connected to it. It's all Bluetooth, and it's called a DJI Mobile. And thank you, Devin. I appreciate this for a Christmas gift, and I will be using this. Uh, I hope to upgrade my videos here and my audio in 2021, and hopefully also um, do a new, uh, I want to get into a new uh, editing program and all that stuff. And I, I just want to kick everything up a notch. So here we go into 2021. Uh, I think 2020, like I said, uh, to, to put a uh, different spin on it, there were some positive things. We really got that van thing together. We did take a couple trips. Uh, I got to go uh, some backpacking trips. I did notice though, though, I think on a don't want to go back on a negative thing other than the whole pandemic thing uh, but I've noticed that the trails uh, pretty much everywhere I went and the roads the trails everybody was getting out because of this pandemic and I think the uh, they were crowded uh, I 
I don't remember going to any trail and not seeing more people than I normally would. So hopefully that didn't do a negative impact on our, you know, our trails and our, all our, the outdoor uh, places we like to go, but we'll see. I guess that's to be seen. Now with 2021 coming around and this so-called, well, I, hopefully I'm, you know, I'm positive about this vaccine that's coming out. And if it does get distributed and where people can get to a semi back to normal life, I don't think we'll see as many people out on the trails um, only because now they'll be able to go somewhere else other than out, um, hiking or backpacking and uh, vanning or whatever you want to call it. So that is it. Happy New Year, everybody. Stay tuned this week. I'll be doing that upgrade to my van on the van build. After that, I'm going to be taking a trip up north and uh, doing some hiking and backpacking. Uh, there's a lot of good things. I got some mo other new equipment coming in, and uh, we'll be working on that. So, Happy New Year 2021. Thank you, everybody, for watching and following Walker's World. You guys have a great evening tonight. Happy New Year. I'm staying home, um, doing some seared ahi tuna on the grill and uh just chilling at home tonight not going anywhere but thanks a lot guys i'll probably watch some youtube videos we'll see you later bye bye